Awkward as it is, it's time to talk about your bowels. That's right, let's talk about your poops. Irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is very common in today's world. It is estimated to affect up to one in five Canadians. It often starts in young adulthood and occurs more frequently in women than men. It's the second most common reason for missing work and is one of the most common reasons that people visit their doctor. IBS can develop for a variety of reasons, and I'm sure you can guess some of those. The good news is it's totally curable in most cases, but if you leave it untreated, it can become dangerous. So let's find out what's going on with your tummy. In the past few months, have you experienced a lot of pain in your lower abdomen? Does the pain seem to go away when you poop? Or when you're in pain, does the frequency of your bowel movements change? Do you tend to have to go to poop, go poop more? Or do you feel like you have to go but you're unable to? Does the discomfort change with the consistency of the stools? For example, does the poop get runny or super hard when you're having stomach issues? If you answered yes to any of those questions, you have irritable bowel syndrome. And even though you may have become used to them, those symptoms are not normal. Let's look further into the symptoms of your IBS. Over the past three months, have you been taking fewer than three poops a week? And when you do go, are they hard and lumpy? Are they so hard that you're straining to get them out? And once you're done, are you left feeling like you still have to go but just can't? If you've answered yes to those questions, then constipation is a problem and incorporating more fiber into your diet will definitely help. Try taking a third cup of freshly ground flax seed every day. You can grind it in a coffee grinder, then drink it back in a glass of water or add it to your smoothie, oatmeal, or on top of some fruit in the morning. But constipation isn't the only form of IBS. So in the past three months, have you had times where you're rushing to the bathroom to poop? Is there mucus in the stool? And do you feel really full, bloated, and swollen after eating? If you have, then you be, may be suffering from food sensitivities. This means some of the foods you're eating are causing inflammation in your system. So eliminating them will make these symptoms go away. But an imbalance of the bacteria in your intestines could also be causing these symptoms. So increasing your fiber intake and taking either prebiotics or probiotics can really help with all of these problems. What about these symptoms? Does the pain you're experiencing interfere with your daily activities? Are you missing work or unable to attend social activities because of it? Are you suffering from frequent headaches or migraines from the abdominal pain? Are you so tired you can't manage much activity in the day or do you have recurrent muscle and joint pain? Have you been diagnosed with fibromyalgia? These are some of the non-bowel related symptoms that are caused by IBS because the inflammation irritable bowel syndrome causes results in a loss of the vitamins and minerals that fuel the other body systems leading to these conditions. Lastly, let's look at the darker side of IBS. If you're experiencing blood in your stools, waking up in pain during the night, experiencing fever or vomiting during or from the abdominal pain, or if you've had unexplained weight loss, you should see your doctor immediately. Those symptoms could indicate a more serious irritable bowel disease, but don't panic. These are treatable as well, but they shouldn't go unattended for too long. If you are suffering from the non-emergency symptoms and you'd like some help, I can help you get on track with food sensitivity testing to find out the foods that are causing your inflammation symptoms. We can also look at your diet diary over a week to see where you might cut down on sugars and increase dietary fiber without having to make you go through drastic elimination of all the foods you love. Balancing your gut biome occurs when you increase your fiber and incorporate some probiotic foods into your routine. And finally, we can look at getting some strategic movements into your day to get your system running optimally. These can vary between stretches and cardio. Your system will let us know what you need. Contact me today for a free 15-minute consultation to find out more about how I can help you feel less pain and more energy.